Hi guys, welcome to AC Technical. In this video, I am going to tackle a challenging issue. Could not find the recovery environment in Windows 11 and Windows 10 or missing recovery partition. The recovery environment is a crucial part of your Windows operating system. It contains essential files needed to reset, refresh or restore your system. If it's missing, you might face problems when trying to troubleshoot your PC. Could not find the recovery environment or a missing recovery partition in WinRE can occur due to various reasons such as disk corruption or failure, manual partition management, incorrect disk manipulation, third-party software due to perform system cleanup, system corruption, and user error. Whatever the issue is, let's move on to the solutions. First, open the command prompt as an administrator and run the following command as it is showing on the screen. bcd edit space forward slash set space start curly braces boot mgr close curly braces space display boot menu space yes and hit enter. This command enables the display of the boot menu during startup. Once the command is executed successfully, close the command prompt. After that, go to Advanced System Settings menu. Click on Startup and Recovery Settings button. Under System Startup section, check the time to display list of operating system box and set the duration between 5 to 10 seconds. Next, check the time to display recovery options when needed box and set the duration between 5 to 10 seconds. Once done, click on OK and OK. Now, when you restart your computer and press F8 key during startup process, you should be able to access recovery environment in Windows 11. Ok, now you can select the desired option to troubleshoot and fix any system related issues. Also, you can directly access the Windows recovery environment by using this second method. In the command prompt window, type the following command shutdown space forward slash r space forward slash o and press enter. This command forces to Windows to restart the computer and open the advanced recovery option menu instead of boot normally. Now you can select the desired option to troubleshoot and fix any system related issues. If the recovery partition is missing, then the previous methods will not work on your computer. In that case, you will need to perform a system updates or upgrades using Windows ISO file. If you don't know how to perform system updates or upgrades, then here's a certain tutorial for you and also the tutorial link is given in the description below and I'm sure it will definitely help to fix the problem. So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support and guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.